Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux. Today I'm going to be showing you um, progress on the LXDE version of Makulu which is advancing at a rapid pace mostly because um, um, it's a it's a hybrid edition uh, a blend of XFCE and LXDE put together into one and therefore uh, quite a lot of the XFCE work is quite easy to port over from the XFCE version so that's going very very quickly um, the LXDE side, well LXDE is a very simple desktop environment so on even on that front I'm, I'm making some good progress very very quickly. Um, so today I just want to show some of the changes, um, how far I've progressed and what's happening with the addition. Um, right, so this is, as I said, this is based on LXDE and XFCE, okay. so. LXDE is your desktop environment, pretty much the, the core of the system based on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS as the core. I'm still not doing a Debian based uh, distro. Um, Debian is still a little uncertain at this point in time and therefore I will continue to monitor it. I am looking forward to making a new Debian, Debian uh, based distro very soon sometime. Um, at this point I'm just gonna do this edition still at least uh, with uh, Ubuntu LTS as a base. You do get long term support until 2019. And the fact is that I'm literally just using the, the, the Ubuntu repos and basically the kernel that comes out of the Ubuntu. Pretty much everything else is um, really not, not Ubuntu based. So um, there's no reason to hate the edition because it is Ubuntu based. Right, with that in mind, um, so as per the previous video, I don't know how many users saw it, but I'll just recap a little bit quickly on um, that. Um, this edition is focused on stability, on performance, on security, obviously. Um, when I say performance, I mean resource usage. This edition runs about 240 megs of RAM at boot up and um, at the same time I'm bringing pleasing visual the whole visual side to it so it's going to be very pretty um, as per usual you get the clock and the calendar on the desktop you get your quotes that change I've made a lot of transparency to sort of modernize the desktop so you'll notice the bottom panels transparent you've got this beautiful wallpaper and you've got the the, the standard Makulu layout with icons on both sides, menus on both sides, you've got dual menu. Um, there is one major change with the menu. On the left obviously you have your standard menu as as per usual as you would normally in, in, in any, any edition. On the right where I've been using the Synapse launcher lately, I've opted to rather use the Slings Cold in this edition mainly because uh, Synapse does have issues with LXDE um, and you know some of those issues are unresolved with the actual synapse itself um, and slings cold seems to perform better so I'm going to stick to the slings cold launcher for for this edition it does work very well so you could either go um, your traditional menu on the left or you can go slings cold on the right it does give it a whole sort of a gnome look and feel so it does sort of add that modern option to the desktop we can easily scroll large icons for the visually impaired or those that just prefer to scroll the menu this way there aren't that many items in the menu so it's quite easy to find anything you want and of course you've got the quick search function over there so those are the two menus that will be released with this edition um, the file manager is uh, the XFCE Thunar so that is Thunar version 1.6.4 so that's up to date okay so your file manager is Thunar and it comes with all the custom uh, custom um, actions of Thunar so you've got plenty custom actions here that you can make full use of that is pretty cool it's a pretty uh, nice looking file uh, file manager very advanced a uh, lot more features than the uh, file PCF man whatever uh, PCF man of uh, of uh, LXDE so you get the kind of best of both worlds 
um, you get the 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 LXDE core that's very light on resources very simple and easy to use runs on old PCs and you get the sort of uh, more advanced uh, Thunar file manager from XFCE okay because I use the file manager of XFCE I've had to integrate the desktop settings of XFCE as well that means you can right click on the desktop and have some nice quick actions um, create a launcher create or create folder easily create from template open terminal here some custom actions uh, desktop settings where you can actually change uh, wallpapers okay I haven't set the directory there yet I will at a later stage uh, mostly because at this point in time I'm still um, I'm still deciding which wallpapers will go into this edition um, I have I have added quite a nice variety of wallpapers so users will users should uh, really enjoy some of these new wallpapers that are in this in this edition so there are going to be some really pretty wallpapers in here um, anyway so the edition's shaping up nicely um, it's going to be one hell of a release I guess uh, because I don't think uh, LXD has ever been released with uh, with uh, just let me find the that's the default one that I like using um, LXD uh, I don't think LXD has ever been released um, as a hybrid before and on top of that um, this version uses compass as a window manager by default so out of the box you're going to get all of this you're going to get this whole special effects um, working right out of the box okay so you're going to get the wobbly windows the bouncy effects um, you're also going to get the window previews working out of the box you're going to get a uh, cube fully functional out of the box unfolded cube with reflections out of the box you're also going to get the um, cylinder, sort of semi-transparent cylinder, to sort of give LXDE that very advanced look. Also, fully functional out of the box. As you can see how nice and crystal clear that looks. It's just amazing. So, a uh, lot of surprises in this LXDE version. Only running on 240 megs of RAM with all of this enabled so you'll be able to use this on pretty much any system old or new I guess the compass settings you know they're not very resource hungry so you should be able to run that even on older PCs but there is always the option to disable the um, effects and stuff if you do need to um, XFCE power manager is also being used so that takes place of the LXDE power manager which just sucks balls um, and of course the GNOME Network Manager is, is currently being used in this edition. Uh, on top of that, instead of digging around in the menu looking for thousands of settings, you know, I've already removed quite a lot of the entries here in the start menu, uh, in the launcher, uh, just things that I think are unnecessary and unnecessary flood the menu with crap. Um, instead I've opted to design a actual control settings panel so they will have Makulu center which actually controls pretty much all the settings in your desktop environment so you've got appearance background backup bluetooth border themes um, date and time disk management displays drivers firewall um, keyboard and mouse network onboard screen uh, onboard keyboard um, package manager partition drives password and keys power printers region and language, screen savers, sharing options, sound, startup applications, system info, system monitor, system update, user user management, window settings. Okay, so pretty much this covers just about your whole desktop with kind of any kind of settings you want to put in. Um, now these are obviously linked to all the different um, control panel apps and some more like for example border themes will open up your uh, emerald theme manager um, where you can then um, set set your your border theme to something else that you might prefer uh, let me just go down to the default one that I've got on here uh, uh, that's actually quite a nice one too I've used it before uh, let me just look for default there we go default 
Um, the default theme has also been a little redesigned to blend with the with the bottom panel as you can see it is a little bit more smoother it almost if you look at it it almost looks like it curves you know it's sort of got a like almost like a curvy f curvy feel to the actual border theme itself so that's pretty cool and I've designed it to have the buttons on the right and the left as I did with KDE so I've ported some of those over as well the window settings is obviously the um, the uh, compass windows manager since that's the default manager in this edition so this runs off compass out of the box which is pretty cool as I said the effects are easy to switch off it's easy to manage uh, compass it's very it's very um, easy to understand there are a lot of guides out there for people that don't um, so yeah that's pretty pretty decent You've also got a backup feature that will make a one-to-one -one backup of the system as it is into ISO format which you then can put onto a bootable USB or DVD and therefore restore, reinstall the system quite quite quickly and easily without the need to set up your desktop all over again so that I thought is pretty neat as well. So yeah the desktop in this uh, this desktop is um, shaping up quite quickly I think this release should be done in, in a week maybe two at most like I said it's not a very complete complicated desktop to design and I've done this so many times um, with XFCE that it's kind of just you know following a 12-step guide to how I design at this point in time and um, yeah it's looking pretty a um, lot of testing going on at the moment um, all the default apps are included. I'm not going to go through that list. There are a couple of new ones and obviously a couple of dedicated LXDE ones at this stage. Um, the most biggest change here I guess are the Makulu Center for controlling your system which I thought was a nice little twist where user can just find everything easily. I've also put it as a shortcut in the favorites menu at the bottom panel. Uh, the other twist is the um, the Slings Gold Launcher and uh, the third would be the XFCE um, File Manager which seems to work very well in this edition and the fourth and last one would be the Compass the Compass Window Manager which gives you all of these uh, special effects and stuff which pretty much brings LXDE right up there um, with all the rest of the modern desktop environments so yeah it's going to be one hell of a pretty release and it comes with um, with uh, uh, pretty much a lot of standard stuff I'm going to be including a firewall in here as well as an antivirus as well like I said from now on I think I'm just going to include that standard with all the additions so that's going to be pretty nifty that you can have uh, a safe and secure system um, looking this pretty and running this well on such low resources with all of these features so yeah that's pretty much uh, where LXDE is standing at this point in time um, it's going to be another one of those amazing releases I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for that especially LXDE fans that uh, that have been itching for something new in a LXDE for you know um, this really does enhance the desktop I mean um, when people look at this or you know people that haven't seen any Makulu editions before anything like that um, when they look at this they're not going to think this is LXD I can tell you that straight off the bat they're going to be assuming this is some kind of uh, cinnamon or uh, gnome or even maybe XFCE um, but they will not they will not see this as LXD it's so 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 very bloody cool so yeah that's it from me Jacques um, I'll probably may post another video soon but I can tell you that I have been working on this while working on KDE I spent many hours a day working on editions and um, this one's gone very quickly mostly because like I said it was quite easy to port everything over from XFCE since the file manager uh, and some of the other settings are based on XFCE so all of that work was easy to port over the LXDE part of it um, was actually quite easy because I just needed to really create a, a, a working control center. Working control center, get a nice theme, 
blend some of the uh, effects and stuff uh, in the theme uh, spend some time on the border theme it is similar to the KDE border theme but not 100% I had to like I said I had to blend it a little bit more on the towards the uh, on the panel like I did with KDE just to make sure that the themes all mix and match and blend blend well um, so yeah the obviously the settings of the Firefox and stuff easy to port over so at this point in time because I built such a great great base when I started with XFCE I'm now able to literally port a lot of that over to new editions so it does greatly speed up speed up development time of course there are things like themes and um, customized settings for each desktop environment and things like that that I have to um, you know work on I can't just put the same in every release uh, but I do try and keep the standard look in every release well at least as much as possible so uh, much has been ported over um, the rest I'm currently working on um, but yeah that's pretty much it for uh, a very 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 cool edition of LXTE that should be uh, showing up very soon I would I would say a week two at most before this this goes live so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, I would definitely keep keep a lookout for this edition it's one edition you really do not want to miss especially if you're looking for a speedy desktop cheers guys